This is Kulali and her owner Garth. Garth was a successful engineer who started building Kulali as his final life project. Unfortunately, Garth never got to see her finished. I've been lucky enough to take the challenge on of completing her build and one day to sail her around the world. Similar to Garth, I'm a passionate engineer who loves to know how things work and how to build things. Join me on this journey to bring Garth's dream to life. This is Sailing Kulali. In the last video, we worked on the pintle bearing of Kulali's rudder, as well as getting the rudder ready to be mounted into a lathe. Join us in this video as we try to mount the rudder onto the lathe. So just some history behind this project. As you know from past videos, I've been building the rudder bearings which sit over the rudder shaft. The rudder shaft needs to be round for the bearings to work smoothly. Because the rudder shaft is extruded aluminium, it's out of round by about 0.8mm, which is enough to cause accelerated wear on the bearings, localised wear and cam effects. To solve this, the shaft needs to be machined. This would usually be easy, but unfortunately the shaft is already mounted to the rudder blade. This means that the lathe needed to machine the rudder is literally the largest lathe in the southern hemisphere. I checked this. To use this lathe, it was going to cost around $800 which means I could probably just build a new rudder. I looked at a few options before trying out this idea. First is to cut the shaft off the blade, but because the rudder is already fared and welding doesn't seem to be my forte, I decided against this. There's a way to offset mount the tool in the lathe to go around the part instead of the part going around the tool. I checked whether this would work my lathe, but it wouldn't. I ended up with an idea to slowly spin the whole rudder counterweighted on my little lathe. Before I get too much hit, I checked the max bearing loads of both the spindle and the chuck. I was most likely going to use a friend and a drill to slowly spin the part as the gearing on the lathe doesn't go low enough. Ultimately, this idea with the lathe didn't work, but I'm glad I tried it. My next option is to use a HBM, also known as a horizontal boring machine, or if that's too expensive, I've got another way to do it that's a bit slower. Think sanding by hand. Welcome back. It's day 17, 18, something like that. Today is going to be about welding these aluminium parts of the rudder stock onto the actual rudder stock that will give something to hold on to to actually turn this rudder stock down first step of it all is just to align this there's a little bit of plane here um, so i'm going to try and align it as best i can so basically how i'm doing it i've put a dial gauge on here and i'm running it along the top surface and you can see that the needle is pretty much the same. And I've also checked if it's square like that, which it looks very square. So that's pretty good. When you weld it, it's going to warp anyway, so cool. Not the best welds in the world. Fuck. I actually grinded it back and that's another weld on top. I really gotta, it's really hard. It's really hard. Stacking dimes. You might be wondering why the lathe has moved from over there all the way to over here. I want to tie this to that using the table. This obviously is way too big for the lathe. It was around a thousand dollars to get this machine back for the shaft. So if I can get this done successfully without damaging anything, I will be saving about $1,000 by doing this. All right, so I just built this little stand so that the lathe can clamp to it. So you've got the little clamp underneath, it grabs these side plates. And so that should allow me to, if I need to adjust this up or down, I can put some shims under there. So that's good. So that means I get the up down adjustment. The sideways adjustment, that has a little bit in there, but not much. Um, and then the in and out is obviously with this spindle. So that's, that's going to be helpful there. Cool. All right, this is getting more and more ghetto. This is the base. It's working pretty well. The shaft is now in alignment 
I don't know if I'll ever post this video. Probably should have just paid the thousand dollars to get this machine, but this is just a safety. So if that fails for whatever reason, it will drop onto that. I don't think the lathe is gonna move much that way, um, but it could. I filled these cabinets with solid steel, so the friction force should be quite high. All right, after all that, setting up the, building this, building this, all this stuff. Unfortunately, because you have to apply a force laterally to make this dead center work, as I apply this force, you can see how much that moves. And that, that movement is actually this whole lathe bed or this stand leaning over and even lifting up off the ground there. So I don't think this idea is gonna work. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all back together. It's a bit sad, but it's all learning, isn't it?